prove that there exists no integers a and b for which 18a plus 6b equals 1. All right, well, we're going to assume by way of contradiction that there does exist that. that there does exist integers a and b such that 18a plus 6b is 1. Well, let's factorise. Um, so factorising we get uh, 6 into 3a plus b equals 1. So 3a plus b equals 1 sixth. Now, by the closure properties of integers, now you don't necessarily have to say this. You can say if a and b are integers, then 3a plus b must be an integer, but I'm just using a different way of saying it. By the closure properties of, of integers, 3a plus b is an integer if a and b are integers. But you could just say that 3a plus b is an integer if a and b are integers. Um, uh, but uh, um, an integer cannot equal a, f a, f a fraction like one-sixth. Therefore, we have a contradiction. Um, because uh, we can't get an integer equaling a fraction like that. Therefore, there, there must not exist integers A and B such that 18a plus 6b equals 1. So, therefore, there do not exist integers a and b such that 18a plus 6b equals 1. Job done. Now, just, just uh, quickly, when we uh, were given this uh, original question, they, we were saying, we were just answering, um, like they're saying for all, I'm just trying to remember what the original question is, if I can just click back onto it. For all a, b, element of z, a to a plus 6b is not equal to 1. That was the original question, right? For all, sorry. For all, uh, for all a, b that are integers, 18a plus 6b is not equal to 1, was the original statement. Now, the negation of that, well, the contrapositive of that is that there exists, because you, you, you change the quantifier. So there exists a and b element of z, and then you negate the predicate. So that not equaling one, such that that does equal one. All right. So basically, if you want to prove that for all a, b in z, you can't find a to a plus six b being equal to one, you could go ahead and look at the existence of sum such that um, it does equal one and of course it's not going to work but you you go well let's assume that it, it there does exist one and you go ah it's not so what i've looked at not the contrapositive if i've looked at the negation of the, the situation i've gone well if i negate that that's what i get and the negation shows me that the original is not working all right.